Um, we're extremely disappointed. Um, we've put a lot into the game. We've scored three goals at home and that's not been enough to win a soccer match. Um, I think overall when you score three go goals in any game, particularly at home, that should be enough to get over the line. Um, but tonight we just kept putting ourselves on the back foot with you know, goals that are just difficult to explain at this level. Um, we're disappointed, we're, we're extremely disappointed and I think the players are hurting because we've outshot a team like 19-8 to eight and we've lost 4-3. Um, but we just can't keep digging holes like we did Doug tonight. We uh, went down early, disappointing goal. We talked about not giving away those kind of situations, responded like we know we're capable of uh, with, you know, good energy. But to, you know, start the second half, 2-0, down again. Uh, it was just soft goals and um, you know, I hope the group are disappointed because I know as a coaching staff we're disappointed. The goals just weren't good enough tonight that we conceded um, and that last one just sums it up. I mean, we have a chance to clear it, get to overtime, we don't clear it correctly, it gets closed down, falls to a player and she puts in the back of the net. So um, overall thoughts are, was, I admired our character to keep coming back, I admired our t you know, determination to keep sort of plugging away at it, but uh, we just kept putting ourselves behind the eight ball tonight and um, you can't do that at this level. Well, you know, uh, individually, those players are doing well for us on and off the field, but I think it's a collective effort. When we win, we win together. When we lose, we lose together. And I think the captains will be as disappointed as the coaching staff. That's a game that we could have won, should have won, in the sense that how much of the ball we had and the chances we had. But, um, you know, we're going to need the captains to pick the team up. I think tonight we'll all be disappointed and we'll all, you know, be down a little bit. But tomorrow we've got to regroup. We've got to find the response in us on... Uh, for Sunday's game, we're going to need those captains to show that leadership quality and uh, help help the young players come up and get over a tough loss. Well, it's pride in the box. I mean, it's pride in your own box. It's pride in the in the other box. I mean, we we had chances tonight. We snatched at a few. Um, we we shot a few off balance. We we're a bit wild. We've just got to take pride in what we do in the final third. Um, I thought there were several opportunities that we left out there that we should have scored, um, and that's just us being critical of what we need to do and then we need to have pride in the defensive side of the game I mean we just you know had a softness about us tonight had a vulnerability which we haven't the last few games we've looked really good at the back but uh, we, met, we took a step back tonight um, so we just got to get pride in both boxes I mean if you're going to win games you've got to keep clean sheets if you're going to win games you've got to take as many chances as you can full credit to UTEP I think if they had eight shots they scored four um, we've had like 19 and scored three